right, welcome back to Weld School. Uh, this is gonna be a video on grinding tungsten and the proper way to do it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and we'll keep cranking these out. Uh, so we're gonna start out, we have tungsten fresh out of the box, it's flat across the surface. We're gonna do some DC welding. We're gonna wanna go ahead and sharpen this into a point. Uh, we wanna make sure we're doing it correctly. Okay, so we got a couple different types of grind wheels, basically an aluminum oxide wheel and a diamond wheel. Diamond wheels come in different grits. Your standard grind wheels come in different grits. Uh, you know, it could be very coarse or fine. Um, regardless of what it is, uh, we wanna make sure that we are using the grinder correctly. And we wanna make sure that we are actually grinding on the face of the wheel not the side, so I wrote no over here, don't grind on the side. The other thing is I don't wanna bring it in sideways like this and grind. I wanna make sure that I'm grinding so that way the lines are made parallel. You can see we've got a little smiley face here. Hey, I'm happy we got parallel lines so we don't get arc wander, we don't get tungsten spitting where maybe a little bit of this actually gets uh, a little bit of the tungsten melts off and gets into your weld metal, that's bad. That's tungsten's extremely hard. Your weld metal's soft. It's gonna lead to a crack sometime down the road if you have a tungsten inclusion. Those will pop big time on an x-ray. Um, it'll show up as a really white spot because it's so dense. Uh, this would be grinding across, okay? And that will cause maybe, like I said, a little arc wander, tungsten spitting, and plus you get a little bit more of an erratic uh, arc off of that. So it's really important to make sure we grind parallel. I got a video that I'll show you here in a few. You ever heard that maybe grinding angle would actually affect your weld? Um, people are like, that's not true. It is absolutely true, and I'm gonna prove it in this video. Uh, you'll see what I did. Uh, so this is, we'll just say, I don't know, 15 degree angle. This is 30, 45, 60, 70. Uh, and then this is really just kind of like a 90. So it's just this straight out of the box, okay? I was able to test and prove that, okay? And you'll see the whole video and how I did it and how I made sure every variable was constant, nothing changed at all. The arc length is the same, the stick out was the same. Um, I ground a bunch of these at different uh, degrees. So I went from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and blunted off here at the top. And so basically what you'll find out is that you get a wide shallow penetration with something that's really steep, and you get a deeper penetration, but a very little uh, spread on that arc with something that's got the uh, you know higher angle, or just, you know, it's 90 degrees uh, from that tungsten, okay?
AC, okay? So if you get something that's squared off out of the package and you're running AC, you can weld straight out of the package, square it off like that. It will run no problem. Some people put it on DC positive, they flip the tungsten down, they just hold down the pedal at a lower amperage, they wait for this to get red, red hot, and it ends up rounding like this, and then they take it off, turn it off, they put it on AC and they start to weld. What we want to avoid is a big ball at the end like that. You don't want the ball, if you have a lot of positive, we're gonna get that ball. Maybe you need to size up your tungsten. Okay, we'd rather see it just nice and rounded at the end or spherical or whatever. You can actually, especially with the inverter technology, you can sharpen and it'll ball just at the end. If you have a lot more DC negative, this actually will occur uh, depending on the amount of amperage you're using or if we use asymmetric waveform, okay? So if we have asymmetric waveform, so here is our line of zero, here is our positive, here is our negative, here is our positive, here is our negative, positive, negative. So if we have less on the positive side, so if this only goes to 50 amps and this goes to 100 amps, that 50 is less heat on the tungsten that won't create this giant ball here, but that negative, which we know, you know, we can have a DC negative weld and it stays sharp for multiple passes, no problem. Okay, so that's asymmetric waveform, which we can actually uh, use, but that's on inverter technology. Transformer rectifiers, uh, not so much. But again, you know, transformer rectifier, and you're heavy on the DC negative, I can still get this to run like this if I got the right size tungsten, no problem.